All right. Let's see. Hopefully everything should be working properly. And I'm just going to assume that it is this time. Now, today, I shall be continuing my game as Animathus, the truth speaker, Apfeldorf, from my migratory journey to, I believe this is Opkazia? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> while looking at the um, decision to move holy sites that the Apti have, it looks as though they don't actually get the sun mount as a holy site, which means I won't have any interaction with these modifiers whatsoever. Which is kind of a shame. No, jeez. Oh, I think I muted myself there. Sorry, guys. Or <laughs> I don't. I don't actually think there is anyone in right now. But uh, I do apologize to uh, Anderson for making you wait. Though I see he showed up early and waited. Yeah, I was thinking about starting earlier, but I did get caught up in something, unfortunately. Uh, back to my explanation. Of what is happening? I am playing a very uh, incredibly stewardship focused, not stewardship, diplomatic, diplomatically focused character. He has lots of traits that he's gained over time to stack up his diplomatic abilities. And as a result, people in general like him, but he has a lot of vassals he has yet to work his magic on as its kingdom was newly formed. Though, um, not by him. Uh, Kingdom was handed to Rosa the Unreliable, who had no capability to actually fight, so I just took it from her. <laughs> uh, also conveniently, I started, I was given a level 2 castle, so it's got, it's, 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 um, the only thing that I control other than a a church that's also in the same county, though it has uh, some decent enough buildings already in there. And, um... I had a really bad <laughs> player error, though, uh, thankfully, with him being uh, cowardly, uh, the um, education learning focus, yes, uh, he was willing to become a monk due to the monasticism. Tenant of the Apti faith. Oh yeah, there's still some adversarians hanging around. Just a few. I think, actually, Eordanus got kicked out. Yeah, Eordanus got, um, he rebelled. So... Why is it a different color here? Oh, because they're at war with a... Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, my current plan is I am fabricating a claim on my neighbor, who, just like my former liege, does not have much power. Uh, though they are feudal, interestingly. I'm still tribal, right? Yeah. Uh, but they don't have enough money to field a larger army, and... Thanks to me being... No, I just have a bunch of men-at-arms because I have a lot of prestige. still have a lot of men-at-arms that carried over from before I migrated. And I could make more because I'm still making plenty of prestige. 
So that's the reason that I haven't been revoking a bunch of land for my vassals. I don't need to stir up trouble when I can just go and conquer his land. So, uh, I'm wondering who I should attempt to sway. <laughs> Jeez. Rosa, the lady I just defeated in war, is going to be my chancellor, I guess. Yeah, adversarians still exist. Uh, for some reason, for me, uh, yeah, it, it is funny. Um, adversarians, um, or I keep zooming out instinctively because I want to see the empiric, but it's all gone. <laughs> yeah, he Senwar keeps getting taken out. Um, just here. He never actually, like, I never see him anymore defeat the practitioners on this island. It's very strange, but it never happens for me. Uh, he always gets stopped before Garasos, and he used to always go all the way through Hakaida as well, but now I have to deal with this man. Or, it's not him anymore. <laughs> Garasos was murdered? Oh. Never mind, I guess. It's his kid. Who has zero interesting traits. Okay. He's just a large 16-year-old. Fair enough. Fair enough. Very large. Now, enough of that rambling on. I should note that I have three potential kingdoms to form. I know that the Salakad uh, from... I was watching uh, Zori stream the other day, and... Uh, there, it, w it was noted that there is a single special kingdom that can be formed from the Salakad, uh, the Kingdom in the Clouds. The Huagadok have three options for kingdoms that they can form, and depending on which one, I, I really like this, it's very neat, depending on which one you choose, or depending on which one gets formed first, uh, the culture will get a specific cultural tradition. So... Equal Inheritance is one option, Storytellers, and Performative Honor. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure no one's formed it, but uh, I'm also pretty sure that someone will do it soon. Um, this man, I believe, has all the requirements as well. It's all, literally just, yeah, he, he is a king, therefore, it, it literally is just, don't be fighting and be a king but not an emperor, so he could do it right now if he wanted to, and if I unpaused. Um, I could not care much less for the equal inheritance or performative honor, because I already am equal succession. Uh, so it's kind of pointless. Which is the best coat of arms? Well, they none of them really. They, there's just a flag, and they, like there's a bird flag. There's a black and white stripes, and then uh, this one's a flower, which is interesting. But at the end of the day, uh, I might just go go over it with my house flag. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dethothica, because it has storytellers, and I. It's also it's got the coolest backstory because it's the. Na it's named after a legendary warrior who slew a bunch of co beasts. Strong name, fit for a strong people. So now, culture has storytellers. Which, I mean, it, it's, it's not crazy. It's simply guardians of this culture are more effective, but yeah, that just means better education traits. So, I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, the color scheme that is a nice green, or, well, I mean, that's subjective. It's a lime green. I know some people don't like that. Now, I might take my... What, what would that actually look like? I could just... <laughs> Make my house flag on the map there. And then the color actually kind of fits. But I really- I don't like that lime green. 
like culture is this soft soft green and then this this culture is actually a purpley pink so I should change that to be probably just a deep purple ah no it doesn't fit with the color of the flag uh, I'm gonna go dark green maybe to change it like at all ah, I'll leave it for now okay so there's a chance fabricate fabricating this claim she's got 17 learning so in in 36 days get almost ready to actually start now <laughs> there's a chance that she'll fabricate a claim on the whole duchy which would be really nice because this duchy is fairly large and fairly rich uh Okay, that terrain isn't great, but I know... Yes, there's actually two unique buildings here. There's a mining settlement and a old port, which would actually make um, this whole region here into a really good metropolis if I wanted to build one, because there used to be a very important trade port here. So it's got some good development growth modifiers and such. Uh, 16 development to start with as opposed to... Oh! Wait, I've got 19 here? Jeez. Why am I increasing development in the county? <laughs> it's already got 19. Didn't notice that. Um. Southern Novisarian culture is still there? Oh. That's interesting. Well, I don't need to force them to get be converted. It's not the place I control directly, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna collect taxes for now, and if I can conquer this place, uh, this very important county, I will, uh, maybe then I'll uh, focus on developing it, but that's enough rambling. Sheesh. I do, I do love to hear myself talk, it seems. Oh yes, my monk son is back. I don't know why he's here, though. He's really bad at everything. <laughs> I'm so glad he agreed to become a monk. This is my actual heir now. Um, he's actually quick as well, so... Ah, only on the county. But I'm, I'm not going to wait around and attempt to get the duchy claim. Yeah, the, the Fenver are still alive. Um... That they're not using their correct title, which, you know, that's how it works, I guess. Uh, they haven't done anything, have they? No. Or... Did they go east? A bit. I'm not sure. I think they may have taken a single county east, but other than that, they've done literally nothing. Um, which is funny, because whenever I've tried... I, I've, I've spent, like, an hour playing as Garassos, and... The Fenver always attack me. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This is a different family. They have done something. Conquered by claimant. Why does he have a... Why did he get a claim? It was inherited by someone else. There's just a single Fenver family that... Member of the family that's just six years old and wandering around. And she doesn't even have claims. Huge negatives on her piety and prestige. Jeez. And it was inherited by someone who's now the court tutor. I don't know how this worked, but clearly someone rose up. Because they had a claim. Still repairing the damages. Mall Island. Oh, that is. Yeah, their capital is just... Uh, just outside of the actual city. It's kind of weird, but... Again, enough of that. Um, I should declare war before... Am I this dumb? I made a claim. I forgot I'm still tribal. I don't need a claim. Oh. He's the one who became feudal. But why did he? 
It's just, just because his capital was on a castle or something, I guess. Anyway, this is good news. I don't need to worry about getting a duchy claim on him. I can just go, because I'm a tribe. And we take what we want. Uh, so I'll march directly to that big castle. Probably going to take a while, because I do not have any... No, I do actually have some uh, onagers. And while that's going along, I may as well bring up the fact that is very entertaining to me. Uh, the Sun Mount is actually owned by Cardwen. I don't see any Cardwen like around here at all. But there's just a single Shavolki faith, because I mean they spread it everywhere. Uh, and and a Caymansi culture province that's owned by Cardwin. Ah, oh, no, we're not related. We're not related. This guy just popped up here. I tell you what, if it's... If, if you don't like me declaring Hewagadok brother wars, I don't necessarily need to fight him. Once I've secured my place. Yeah, it is Cannibal Mountain. I know. That's that's exactly why I haven't done anything about them yet. Because they're they're criminals by my standards. A cannibal is a crime. But uh, I'm not doing anything about it because it's funny. Mm. They're sieging my capital as well. And there is an independence faction that includes... It includes the Cannibal Mountain Boys. Huh. Well, that's less than great. What can I do about that? Oh, I'm not actually swaying anyone yet. I don't care to sway him because, I mean, he's right here and not that powerful. Um, but it would be nice to... Wait, is he actually the strongest one? He is. Never mind. Um, I need to get the ca the cannibals on side. Yeah, yeah, they formed Rithogedika. Um, and that's exactly the reason I immediately formed my um my custom kingdom. Uh, it should not have. No, it did not add the custom tradition because, um, uh, I think it's gone now. Yeah, the, but it, it, it shows on the decision, uh, when you choose, uh, to form the new, one of the new kingdoms, uh, each of them is tied to a cultural tradition, but only the first person actually gets it, uh, which is the reason that I immediately wanted to choose mine. Do I have... Like, any friends? No, not really. All my friends are dead. I'm gonna try and befriend the cannibals. Actually. Not just sway him. I want him to be my friend. You two are lovers? Wait, no, I am... I am... This person's lover. Oh, oh my gosh. No. No, that's enough of that. I don't need my piety to go low. Um, but yes. This money-pinching... 100%. It's an even better chance. Oh, we have stuff to talk about because we're both arrogant, I guess. <laughs> arrogant man on Cannibal Mountain. And I have things to talk about. Well, hopefully we, we can... Oh, no. Four months. No, we're not going to have time. Damn. What can I do? Four months. Can I get an ally? Oh, jeez. You would be really good. Gosh, he's, he's intelligent. No, this guy, this guy has no intention of, of becoming a monk, so I'm not going to get to play as the intelligent guy. But can he get me an alliance? Krava. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Amazonian. Oh, Sigrid. I could ally Sigrid. Yeah, I definitely need to get some alliances, uh, because, uh, 
purely for the Cannibal Mountain people's sake, because I don't want to have to kill them. Because uh, <laughs> if they declare war on me, they're all getting their stuff revoked. Uh, who should I... I mean... Meyer may not be the greatest, but he does have quick, and if he marries an Amazonian girl uh, who looks sick, yeah, she's ill, but I mean, what's what's being born sickly to a, a girl that already has a six-pack at five years old? So, uh, I guess I'm going to marry into Sigrid's <laughs> family. <laughs> That's pretty based, not going to lie. I think she's really cool. Uh... My other kid, the illegitimized bastard, was intelligent. Uh, is he being educated by anyone? I, I should raise him as my own, nice and proper. Military focus, sure. He can be angsty. Oh, I could marry him to Sig. Sig of Klim. <laughs> Her name is Sig of Klim. Uh, and ally to some... Other big boys. Eh, fair enough. She's got good genetic traits, too. She's she's pretty. Yeah, what do you think about that, guys? No, no! Stop! Go away. Discontent, go away. No! God damn it. You're supposed to see that I have big, beefy alliances and then not... Befriend war and friendship. No, I can't befriend him because we are at war. Well, I guess... I guess that means you need to die in awful ways. Good, she's not actually busy. Time to completely annihilate everyone, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll just befriend... Not murder. <laughs> yeah, um... It would be funny if I got the cannibal secret. Wait. Why can't they siege that? Did they seriously run out of men from sieging? Why do I have so many men in this garrison? Jeez. He actually just can't siege it now. No! <laughs> no! I broke off with her. Why does she have to be pregnant? No! Oh, I don't actually have someone leading this army. That's kind of... That's kind of oof. Um, okay, I'll smash their army here, and then just swing around and start sieging again. Can I rename titles? I can rename other people's titles. Perfect. What can I... What, where is an emblem that looks suitably cannibalistic? Abstractions, maybe? No... Is there... Where, fog Eaters. Maybe Fog Eaters. Uh, not the Pardic. There's gotta be just a head somewhere, right? Faiths? Figures? There's a dude. It's a hairy dude. There. It's gonna be a hairy dude. Be orange for reasons. And the background will be... Nah, that's just fine. There. Cannibal Mountain exists. <laughs> Why can I rename his stuff while I'm war? 
<laughs> um, why? No, I don't want to forget my vassals. I need them to like me right now. Oh, oh no, I'm manipulating her. Social manipulation. Yes. Hooks. Hooks ahoy. Can I... <laughs> no, I'm not going to take your stuff. Uh, I could... Nah. It's hardly worth changing people's titles, but... Just give me some more money. Ugh. Sigrun's come to just sit next to me. Okay. Nah. There we go. Siege Cannibal Mountain. Perfect. Oh my gosh! Another bastard. Oh, my guy is <laughs> supposedly very devout, but he keeps... No! No, I can't. I can't. And wait, why is she over here? Why is she over here? Never mind. She's just... I just have a kid over there. That's fine. That's how that works sometimes, you know? You just... Have your kid, and they're, you know, over there. It's fine. There's nothing weird about that. What is what is he doing? What is? Yeah, yeah, okay. But what are you? Oh, the the duke of the place that I'm gonna take is attacking him. So he's attacking me. No. Yes, become friends. But he still doesn't like me. Oh, because I declared war on him. Yeah, that's fair enough. You know what? I don't blame you. Captured valuable... Oh, by someone else. Yeah, the Empiric collapsed. Um... Oh my gosh, he's a Grey Eminence. That's great. He's not actually still there. Um, it's... He, it his kid, I think? Yeah, but for some reason for me, see, so zoom out, yeah, um, the Empiric is gone, and I never see him, for some reason, I, I never see, um, Senware. I never see Senware, um, actually defeat the practitioners on this island. He always goes down and around. I saw Zoria's stream the other day, and, uh, the exact same thing happened to them, where they, they dropped off in this exact same county uh, as me, as Salakad. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that you were waiting. Uh... <sighs> but yeah, yeah, the, the practitioners on this island are still there, which is fine. You know, I'm not going to complain. I like more diversity in my ga my game space, so... Uh, also, they're weak. I also like that they're weak, uh, so they'd be easy to take out if I felt like it. Um, which I might. Uh, I don't know. I honestly have no idea where I'm going to go with this game. <laughs> I just want to hang out here as the Hurigadoc, because I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah. In my games, uh, Senwar always makes it through Hakeda, and then the Empiric reaches down to here, and then he just stops before he goes into Malkoi. Uh, but he always does that. No, I haven't moved the Holy Sites, and I don't actually remember what I need. Do I just need to be... Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I got caught sleeping with someone I shouldn't two different times, so... <laughs> <laughs> He's no longer faithful. Well, well, yeah. He, um, Malcoy is the um, uh, last place he goes if he's done everything else. So, oh yeah, I can work off some stress. No, no, I don't want to make anyone mad. Um, I really should go on a pilgrimage because I need to get. I need to get my um.
yeah, I can... It, it just makes sense that he wouldn't want to go there. Every, every other place is really cut and dry. You walk in, there's adversarians there, kick them out, move on. Oh, the Legio Axiotea is still alive. They, they took... They took an island that's just outside of where Senwer's wrecking ball was going. Oh my gosh, and the Republic of the Isles? Jeez, there's still some... There's, there's plenty of adversarians that still hung around. Also, the Winter Legion's still here. The Golden Knight of the Winter Legion? I love these guys, by the way. Um, sorry. Dislike diplomacy and stewardship character? You don't like diplomacy and stewardship characters? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. That's that's the direction I was going with this character. No! No, for... Oh, my gosh, my son is sleeping with my wife now! No! No! I don't want him! Yeah, fair enough. It's fair enough to wait for more flavor before you play them. Uh, Alright, the rebellion's done. I'm sorry, but I think this means the end of Cannibal Mountain. Yeah, I... I look at all of them. Look at all of them. Ew! Ew! They're everywhere! Ugh! Way too many. It's disgusting. Is Hartha at least taking them out? Oh, thank goodness. I mean, my next game, I'm probably going to be playing Garassos because someone actively asked me to. But, um... <laughs> and, of course, when I play as Garassos, uh, the adversarians are going to be great. But, uh... uh yeah, in, in contrast, they... The number on them here... Oh, Really? Uh, Heraklios is not actually doing awful. Uh, you hate to see it, but... Uh, the marchers have been taken out, it looks like. Wait. Uh-oh. Nope! I was wrong. The opposite. The opposite of the marchers being taken out. They just evolved. The marchers are evolving. What's happening to them? They're defending... Ah, okay, they're going to be taken out soon. But, um... Yeah, um... I should deal with these people. Um, this is actually the lady, the unreliable. Uh, she used to own the kingdom title because it was given to her. Uh, very unjustly, I might add. She didn't do anything. Uh, she doesn't deserve it. So I, I just... took the kingdom from her because I own most of it anyway. And... Now, this is the perfect pretense for me to take her stuff and give it to a deserving. Probably a republic. I'll probably set up republics on these islands. Yep. Take it all. Don't need don't need these Shivalki people. Um, do I have parochialism or something? Yeah, I, I thought I remembered having parochialism. Uh, so I will, in fact set up Republic vassals, uh, I'm sure. And Cannibal Mountain, because uh, yes, I did rename it to that due to the card when being set up there. Uh, I will be taking Cannibal Mountain off of them. Why did I pick Arrogant with the Diplomacy Focus? Because I made a custom character and I thought it, I thought it would be fun. Yo, I made I made a custom character. I was gonna make a custom character. So yeah. Yeah, it causes problems, but it makes it more fun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the perfect it's the perfect balance because he he thinks he is the most important thing, but he's also very good at talking to people. And as a result, he needs to balance the fact that he has an extreme superiority complex with the fact that he knows that his greatest strength is his ability to mediate between people. That's the fun of it for me. Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, exactly. He just he just tries as hard as he can to not be super annoyed by everyone. Oh, that's the Aggie Honest um, special building. I forgot about that. I mean, I don't need actually... <laughs> oh, well, I don't need prestige. That's fine. Um. Okay, now it's actually giving me the temple. Uh, I can give away. I, I don't want that to be the county capital anymore. So I'll just make the temple the county capital for now because it's really good, and someone else can have the city. Um. And the castle. There. Now I can actually control all the stuff that I took from vassals. What do you mean? Wait. How did you how did you discover that I watch anime? I don't get this. No, did I make a reference by accident? Supposed to be top secret. Oh, I need to... That's right. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Your accusations are unfounded. <laughs> ah. I need to give this duchy title to someone, because I can't just hold all of these by myself. I mean, I could always de delete them, but... Uh, what's the penalty for too many hold held duchies? Everyone just hates me. Ugh. But I don't want to give them away. They're nice. So one of these... Yeah, this stuff isn't even in my kingdom title. Looks like I'm going to need to conquer a bunch of this stuff to get... Yeah, exactly. They get big mad. I don't have many vassals right now. But I think I will be giving Cannibal Mountain to someone else because it's not that great. It's a duchy that's really just mediocre. Um, what's my succession like? So I, I'm going to lose. What? Oh! Slavka still exists. It's just these two touchies. <laughs> They're not even connected. Is it does your drifting too? Yeah, in a hundred years this mountain will be part of mine. <sighs> you don't get to just accuse me of being a Sundere who watches anime out of the blue like that. Not like I like you or anything. My bastard can have Cannibal Mountain. He is literally a child. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, literally anyone else then. Stubborn and deceitful. Okay, great. I just replaced the cannibals with a awful human being. So... <laughs> you have Cannibal Mountain. Congratulations, you are now a Duke, and on the council after being nowhere, Gabrius. Where? What are the other titles? I've, this is <laughs> title management has never been my strong suit. Uh, I, I can just give away Padena. Oh, but that's a no. I shouldn't give that away. That's actually really good. Um. Ah. Fine. Ah. Green Castle or Castle Verdant? I mean, I don't want to start a trend of people asking me to na rename things. Um, but if you could explain why you would say that, then I would be interested. Um... My capital, when I move it to here, is probably going to just be renamed to Apfeldorf, because that's my family's name. 
Uh... Wait, why is he in jail? Oh. Because I put him in jail. Fair enough. Well... Okay, okay. County capital there. Granted to someone. So, now got a republic. And then the republic can get... Uh, actually, no. I want to make another vassal there, too. So that they're not as strong. Then... Uh you can have the duchy title. Now people shouldn't be annoyed, right? Yes, okay. Now people are less than angry at me, and I can just take back this title. Oof! There we go. Is it green? It is actually pretty green. There's a lot of really nice land around here, if I'm being honest. that That's the reason I stopped here, because it's so nice. Um, so I'm going to actually remove my capital from here. Um, so I actually really like your suggestion the more I think about it. So I'm going to take the current duchy that I'm in and call it... Um, Verdant Landing. And it will be... Green. And it shall have a new symbol. Let's go for nature. There should be some neat nature stuff. There's a, there's a tree. Bright green tree on a background of... Hmm. Hmm. Darker green. That, that makes it stand out better. And the ground can be red, because it's next to the red wastes? Sure, that makes sense. Um. Where is... Oh, okay. So that's the duchy capital, interestingly enough, over there. That's kind of out of place because the main important city is down here. There's a bunch of tier 2 castles over here, actually. That's going to be nice. I guess, yeah, you can argue it's for the blood of the adversarians. You could argue because it's next to the Red Waste. Um, sway scheme power increase is just nice. Yeah, I, I would like these people to not hate me. I don't have... Oh, yeah, you, I own the du jour duchy you're in. Isn't that funny? Well, someone else is going to get it soon. On the subject of... Oh. Well, these just... Oh, the Lacaloys. The Lacaloys are still around. Hey. Wait. Wait, wait, what was that? Eurydonis didn't actually get killed? He just got moved? Yo. <laughs> the air is a... is a great eminence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why did it just give me you? I don't want... I didn't want to just take... Yeah, fair enough, though. Because she's, she's able to be below me. I don't... I don't care. Actually... 
What is she declaring war for exactly? She's declaring war for a county. I will let her win this war against Garasos, and then I will immediately d take her stuff. <laughs> that seems um, suitably socially manipulative and arrogant of me. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to inform you that the heir is in fact a... a um, uh, a diplomatic warrior. I don't want to kill him, though. He's a Grey Evidence who's really good at keep making people like him. And he's going to be married to an Amazonian girl, so I really don't want him to get killed. And actually, the more I think about it, I should probably stop him from fighting at all. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do you have any one that can I I can just recruit? Because I I don't have many. Yeah, I do actually have a lot of people still in prison. Um, Rose of the Unreliable is still in prison. Um, I could take some money from her, but I think it's actually better if I just force her to renounce her claims and then get her to just fight for me. Uh, money pinching cannibal guy is absolutely awful at everything, so um, he can just be killed. Oh, I've got adversarians in prison that have been in here for eight years. You know, sorry, I forgot about you, but not really. Uh, you guys can also become soldiers. I don't have enough knights. You have a lot of claims on stuff. What is that? Oh, something far away. I don't care. Also, I've got an autocrateer. I still have the lady who's in charge of the islands in prison. Um. I lose stress for killing her. Um. Sure. Because I can. No! <laughs> no, stop telling me to get my really good air killed. <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. He's he's good at fighting. I should allow him to fight. He's decent enough. He's supposed to be a warrior king. So I need more observance. These guys are cool. I don't know who you are or why you have so much money or why you'll give me money for letting you out, but I will let you out if you give me that money. Lominos. She's a mage. An adversarian mage. I mean, she would be decent at fighting. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll trust in him. And hopefully he won't get killed. Even though you want him to. Well, now she's actually losing, which is interesting. Okay, what do I actually need to make the... Yeah, I'm still getting up the money. No! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fall to the dark side. I'm a, I'm a good. I am a good. Uh... And again, what's more important is that I, I get the... I, I'd actually like to be able to form a metropolis because my air is not going to be that big of a deal. So I need the money for that, but... I also want to move the holy sites. So, time to go on a trip. Yeah, I really do. I really gotta get them over here. I can always build the metropolis later. 
my heir can build up his fame. Also, in case people didn't notice, there is this kingdom of Dalcadi people that has been completely isolated by the Adricomp. It's just really funny to me. Ah, uh, there's a single... Is there a single Apti County there? That's interesting. Oh. Uh. No, oh, I don't I don't like different cultures. But I want them to like me. That's his whole thing. Also, yeah, Aerodonis is still there, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> Should I? I I don't I don't know. Should I really just wait for her to do it? Maybe I should just... Oh, monthly piety? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't complain about extra piety. And I definitely don't need any more. Wise man, 69% wise man. Yes! Also, this guy doesn't hate me quite so much. That's good. Vassal Knight and friend. Good. She keeps going back and forth. She's just never gonna actually win this war, I swear. I... I... Screw it. I'm not waiting around for her to take forever to do this. Yeah, you really want him gone. You really want him gone and replaced by the the war the, the legitimized bastard warrior guy. You know what? You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You know what? If he gets killed and my only kid who's still able to fight is the only one who makes it, then he deserves it. You know, I didn't I didn't expect that for some reason. Hey. Green thumb. And axe in the hand. Come join me. That that is funny. I um the the Huigadoc people do kind of they feel weird to me because they're they sound they're 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 very different from the other Shivalki uh, people. Because they're from the urbanized lowlands. Of course, one of the people that rebels is this very strong... <sighs> I should have become friends with everyone. This is why diplomacy is good. You should stop hating diplomacy characters. Hmm. Okay, wonderful. Stressed because he's boring and unimpressive. Yeah, that kingdom's just gonna fall apart. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're not marchers, so killing mages is a little less than likely. I literally just made this person the Republican leader of that place, and then they just rise up. They're like, oh, he's such an evil ruler. No, he doesn't get to be fat. <gasps> Impatience is sin. Impatience is sin. No.
I, I yeah, that's a good point. Can I rename him? He's not of age yet. This is the, I, I don't like this name. <laughs> I can't say that name. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. You know what? Either, it, you know what, you're right, he has to be, shy doesn't sound right, shy just doesn't sound right, so he needs, he needs to either be fat or impatient, he just needs to completely disregard. You know what, because it's the easiest one, I'll let him be fat. Uh, wait, he's a Delcanian! <laughs> Stop! Someone changed him! Who is educating him? Me! Why is he not being... Why is he not having his culture changed? Dude, change your culture! <laughs> no! Okay, dude. Yeah, you... I have a problem with you. Oh, but she'll give me money. You can you can leave prison then. Stop! Stop! I mean, I understand why they're running, but still, stop. I'm on. Some dude named Amon. Okay. It's weird. And also there's this random adversarian guy. Who I guess can also be a, a warrior. Uh, because at this early stage I need everyone I can get. I now have a hook on this guy? Well, good for that. Um, you. No, <laughs> what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with this Amon guy? Why do I have a hook on him? I mean, why did she decide to go out of her way to manipulate this dude? I mean, if I knew that there was some formerly adversarian guy in my court, in my, my husband's court named Amon, I mean, he's not that great. He's He is an awful human being. I need him to... I, I need him to be married to someone. I, I, I can't I can't have him... No, he needs to have a house. One of those battles, you need to see how many kills your heir has. Yo, he's got a... F Fine. He's, he's got a fine set of facial hair now. Well, it doesn't look like he's actually killed anyone yet. Unless... Because it, it should show if he'd killed anyone in combat yet, so... I guess he just hasn't. What happened to you? You just died of being old. Fair enough. Um... Lady... You can be my new court physician. I diviner. Also, I think... No. Someone else can fix that on the mountain. But what does this holy site do? What does this holy site do anyway? Also, I can use it, which is interesting. This is actually really good. I like that. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. So... I never actually look at this. I've never looked at this before. Huh. 
article. It just... Yeah, it, it just says that... One of them died and they killed... 70. But I don't see where it, it, it says anywhere here about them act, how many they've actually killed. Well, yeah, it, th this is the individual night, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a whole other tab! I am so silly! Um... Is my air actually fighting? Lots of former adversarians. There, he killed one dude. <laughs> killed one dude there. And... Um, does he show up here too? He killed three people here. He's he, okay. Okay, my air has actually killed a few people. Brave, paranoid, and compassionate. Interesting. I need to find someone else to sway, but everyone that I else that I could sway is is already at war with me, so I don't know what to do about that. You can be court mage. I don't even think I have any magical kids, but sure. Ah, yes, my player error. <laughs> Chancellor. Yeah, I, I'm just finding new stuff in this game all the time. Ooh, that exists! What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was me. Big, huge control problems all over the place. Blood on the snow. Oh my gosh, it's the edgy. It's the edgy bastard kid. The, the edgy bastard kid is like, aha, throw snowballs at you. There, we we'll throw snowballs back and forth. But he's the wrong culture. I don't like this. I don't. I don't want that. That's that's bad. I wonder if the Dalcani were actually it's like. Something that I wonder about is because the Daukani are all over the place, and of course that makes sense because Senwar was in charge. But were were they the biggest to begin with? Because I don't know for certain if I don't know for certain if they were actually the the biggest ones when they were all out here. For all I know, the Hewa Gadok were bigger. I don't think they were, but I don't actually know who was the largest, because um, they're just being more of them here doesn't necessarily mean there were more of them out on the in the Foglands, uh, because Senwar being in charge would explain why they get more land. So. Uh, though in this particular game, it's actually very spread out. Uh, I guess that's because the Daukani didn't get to take all of this like they typically do. No, no island goes. <laughs> yeah, the the wasteland in the middle there. It's impassable terrain. I don't quite understand that, but I think it has something to do with Broad Brockna. I think that might be the place where Ace Crace launched it, launched his nuke. Because I I think that like here was where Axioteo was chilling, and then she was just nuked. And that's the reason that the, the statue is destroyed up here as well. I think that's what's going on, but I don't quite understand. The bean counter. She's a depressed weed smoker.
I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna revoke her titles here, but only after she finishes this war, because she's winning. And if I take all of her land now, then she's just gonna lose that war. So I want her to get more land for me, you know. It's big brain time. Uh also you're in prison, and I mean you still really like me, and you'll give me a hundred gold, so Barracks? Oh, I completely forgot what was being researched. I should get ledger or plenary assemblies. These are always really good. Um, yeah, I don't really care about Banis. Yeah, let's see. Who else? No, I'm not letting anyone else out of prison yet. Um, you, the Impaler. <clears throat> you are a problem. But you'll pay me 50 gold, so I'll let you out, because I want money. Don't we have ritual celebrations? No. Okay. Never mind. Canada is just getting... Uh-oh! I'm not allied to the green thumb man anymore. Why... Oh, this is the granddaughter of, of Kresmir. <laughs> Jeez. Kresmir the giant lair. Why am I not allied to someone anymore? Is he not, imp like, close enough for it to count? Eh, whatever. Offer oh, vassalization acceptance is not that great. Like, no one's gonna just be like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll listen to you, Mr. Dude, who's got nothing relating to me. What is my... Yeah, I'm still fine, actually, for health. Um, maybe I'll dip into scholarship just a bit. What do I... I'm actually very close to being able to... Um... I'm very close to being able to move the monasteries, which is great. I just need to become devoted. Oh no, that's right. There's some. It's like I need to, for some reason, have a county. I don't understand this. I don't understand what's wrong with this. It's like. I don't know why it keeps listing these, this specific county, but it's like, this county, the one that's down here, needs to be in either Western Avisaria or Malqua. Uh, yeah, you're definitely right about that. That would make me really strong if I had done that. Am I even going to be able to, to move the holy sites? Because I don't even know if this event functions properly based on the fact that it keeps it mentions this county specifically. Any barony than this one. So I'm going to assume that it just randomly picks that one. And that it's not actually important. So I, I just need to own a place that's in either Western Adversaria or Malkoy. I don't know why I need to own a place in Adversaria or Malkoy, because, I mean, the whole point is that I'm moving my holy sites to Opakazia. Well, I'm gonna try it, but I don't know if it's gonna let me. Because I just, like, I need to have Devoted Servant, which I'm gonna, and then I need to own a land, like, uh, theoretically I just need to own a piece of land that's either in Malkoy or in, you know, Edipezia. So I could just go out onto the sea and take one of these Hugadoc Islands. Why do you have so many men? There's a thousand levies. Oh, it's a tribal kingdom. What? You're a king, but you've got nothing. That's weird. 
everyone just revolted from him, I guess. Yeah, that, that island is considered part of Edipezia, I think. Slaj. <laughs> That's weird. Um, okay, one more time. Western Alpha area. It does include even that little island. And this frail lady. Allied to someone that's not that great. So. I guess. I could just go after her then. Or you would be even better actually. Because you've got no friends. And you're building a trade port. Which is funny. Any modifiers here? Trade drop? No. Okay, I'll just take this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I don't know why I would care about her, but she does like me. Um, no, I don't need them to like me more. I, I already force people to like me by making them my friends. Uh, what is wrong with you? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This lady's trying to seduce me. Oh my gosh, no, he cannot be a coward. Be arbitrary. There we go. There we go. The edgy, gluttonous, arbitrary bastard. <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> I don't even know who she is, but she knows me. Why does she care about me? Oh, wait, what? Why'd I get why'd I get this? And I'm now in this war. Oh, great. <sighs> My son is about to leave court because he's absolutely useless. Kid. Kid who's about to leave. Can he fight? Or do literally anything? No, he's just gonna die somewhere. That's fair enough. You're an awful human being. I want you to work with me. Because no one's gonna like you. Oh, actually, people will like him because he's diligent. Yeah, whatever. Siege 1? What siege? Why do I have these armies? Oh, did I inherit her men at arms too? And I, I inherited her mercenaries! I inherited her mercenary companies as well. That's great. Well, I'm not going to get there in time to stop them from sieging that, so... No, who are you? Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. No, I just need to take the war goal. And then my army. Yeah, okay. You. You got 100% war score anyway, so I'll ransom you off anyway. There. Um, give this castle to someone who cares. My heir. Why is my heir getting that? My son is... Li my, my other son, the bastard, is literally only getting the kingdom of Slavka. That's, that's funny. I mean, while the other guy's getting everything, so...
My player error can start his career off on that island. Oh, and he's starting on glory focus, just like you'd want him to. You wanted him so desperately to become a war... Oh, wait, no, he's doing enrichment. He's going to go fighting, uh, hunting stuff. That's arguably even more cool, though, so... Oh, wait. No, you need to come back. Uh, just, just disband and come back. Who are you fighting? Oh, he's attacking another one of my vassals, but just in the process is fighting Garasos' lackeys. Language? I don't care about la Wait, why do I need to learn to speak Huagadok? Do I not know? Yeah, I, I know two languages. I know Dalkani. I know Rikavolki. I don't Go away. And yeah, we'll see. Starting to get some gray hairs. Can he please just not be Dalkany, though? I swear, my heir is gonna stab me. My my own <laughs> the bastard kid is gonna stab stab my other kid to death. Why do you have so much money? That's so weird. Score cat. There we go. Hooray. Found holy order. I can found an apty holy order. Well, uh, I need to move my monasteries before I worry about that. Oh my god, it's not. It's not going to let me do it. Because this county isn't in Western Adversaria. Who owns this county? Can I declare war on you? No. So I just can't move my holy sites. Why is that a good thing? That's bad. Yes, I am screaming about that county because <laughs> it's because it's not gonna let me use it. Ah. Uh. <sighs> oh well. I guess the next update it is. And that means I can found a holy order because... Um, well, I'm not using it for anything else. Unless I wanted to make a great polis, which I also do. So, exalted among men. I'm also on my way to becoming that, so... Um, also, I can just do divine guidance stuff. Yeah, I want to become exalted. But I also don't want to go hunting because I'm going to get killed. The meat. No, stop trying to seduce me, you drunk poet. Okay, can this be upgraded? No. Well, then the question is... Do I want... Where do I want my capital? Because I'm going to move my capital, I'm going to make it a metropolis. But not, not quite yet, I need to get more fame. And also I'll 
do the developing the capital thing. I need to figure out whether I want to make a metropolis on the place with the mine, which I probably should. I could make it on the place with the mine, holding taxes as well. Or I could make it all across the river on the place that used to be an important port. But it's got more holdings, which means that if I make it a metropolis, it would have more hold, more, um, you know, actual city places. Oh, yeah. Got six months left on the mercenary company. I actually don't have a truce with this king anymore. Which means, um... Uh... May or may not want to take the rest of his stuff. Do you mean to tell me I can't cross that river? Isn't that the entire reason that bridge is there? Oh my god, go away. Not like I like you or anything. Powerful mage. Where is he? Oh no. Keep an eye on you if you do anything. You probably won't, but... Strunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh... What? Just talk about religious convictions, but he's cynical. <laughs> he has no religious convictions. Yeah, so you I wanted to boost the family drama by making it the family not so focused on diplomacy and instead fighting each other? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. The nurture worked. And now he is not. He's no longer doing it the wrong way. Yes, family epic time. It is time for a family epic. Where is it? There it is. No. But I'm already doing something? Is it that I'm on the front lines? Or is the feast still going on? Hmm. I don't know what the activity is, but... Oh my god, I can make him sadistic. Alright, alright, which should he be? Should he be ambitious or sadistic? And... Anamathis... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, why do I care that my former lover died? Did I already have the ability to commission epics and I just didn't know it? I don't care if she's impressed. She's got negative 3,000 piety somehow. Yeah, for, for a dude who's a patriarch, he doesn't actually have that many kids. His, his wife is um infirm as well. Uh, I should actually get rid of her so that he has the potential to have more kids. Are there any... Uh, Herculean women, or Amazonian, rather. Not not in the appropriate age. There is actually. Sarmians, though. That's interesting. Uh, 
Um, what about just fecund? Less good, actually. Which marriage? Me and that one robust girl. He's strong. You had a character named Sauron in CK2 who was fat. Nice. <laughs> I haven't played the Lord of the Rings mod in a while now. I, I should I should try that one again. I do like it a lot. I just don't play it much. Oh, the rest of his land is on those islands? I don't want to deal with that. Did I capture him? No, I just beat him in battle. Okay, that's all. Oh, I vassalized one of his dudes. Oh, jeez, you are nasty looking, lady. Um, I'll become friends with you. But we're not we're not going to like stand next to each other, okay? Yeah. Still need more prestige. I'm someone who actually pays attention to du jour drift by the way. <laughs> I'm weird. Um, wait a second. Offer Vassalage actually showed up as an option. Are people actually going to listen to him? If I... Religious exemption? Oh, do I need to religiously protect island people? It's literally only him, though, so... Who? I can negotiate my contract with my son. <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything with that. But this single dude is willing to become my vassal if I let him be religiously protected. Low levies? Whatever, that'll be interesting. It'll just make things more interesting if he's around. How decent the Adra comp are. I mean, I'm strong enough to fight the Adra comp. And definitely strong enough to completely destroy the... What is wrong with them? What happened to the practitioners? I mean, I don't know what happened to them, but... I know what's going to happen to them. Sure. I get fame from that as well. Can I? Like, I'm the head of the culture. I can I can reform it, right? I can I could um twenty thousand. Twenty thousand, never mind. I'm not that guy. I'll leave that alone. But yeah, I, I think I, I'm just going to waddle on over and take him out. Just crank up some of those observant regiments. Capture some more people, and they keep slipping away. That's fine. Court mage lady. Oh. I don't really care about that. Yes! Commission epic. Super fancy person. Got a... Oh my gosh. No! 
<laughs> I'm stressed all the time, but just barely. Um, Renown. Yep. Go for a run, my dude. Who? Excuse me? Excuse me? Disgusting. Fenver and... The Fenver! <laughs> no! Oh, that's so cursed! <gasps> no! The Fenver have become... Adversarianized. That's so awful. No, their adversarian heritage and language. They're going to be fielding legions. Oh, that's so awful. Can't stand for that. Yes, you really do. It's hard to stand. So I could do a holy war, but then I won't get fame, and what I need is fame. Yeah, Cormag would hate that so much. He would, he would absolutely despise that. Alright. Dip into the water and then jump out. But, um... I can take that money back. 75 prestige isn't worth that much. I swear, I swear if my vassals start converting to Corridor. No, I don't need to make up some story about... We're honorable and upstanding, right? It's a great and honorable family. And... Now I'm going to station besiegers and just Yeah, I don't I don't care about the casualties. Just... Um I do not know whether to be relieved or disconcerted. Completed. Oh, it's a wonderful moral. She made a moral. Uh... So my high diviner wrote a mo my my family story. To be a... Oh my gosh, no! No, no, they wrote my fam... My head priest wrote my family story to be a, a moral about always needing to listen to the priests. <laughs> Seriously. My sister-in-law and my brother... Why are they... What? It's just a family infight. Okay, whatever. For you. Just some random cowardly woman. Always listen to the priests. My ancestors stand at its core as a shiny example of what it means to be a ruler for... For out... For out time. Okay. Even if it drags on in a few places and the part with the hermit's guidance is utterly ridiculous, still I am 
proud to keep this in my family library for generations to enjoy and learn from. Yes. Yay! I'm not insig- Oh, wait, no, now I have just reached insignificant. <laughs> Great. Yes, the work- work has been completed. No, I'm not paying for you to hang out here. If you want to, you can come. Yeah, exactly. She wants to come over anyway. Huh. The cold. <laughs> if someone referred to as the cold, but they're not actually that great. Can I? No, it's not going to let me. Okay. Fine, I can't rename him. Ervalinge. Ervalinge is his name, and that's what it's always going to be, I guess. What am I converting? Okay, good, I am converting that place. Oh, are you one of my kids too but I'm just pretending not to yeah that's right there crushed instantly demolished they had absolutely no chance whatsoever and now I have the privilege of having a practitioner underneath me Did I get the Dushy title for that? Oh, I've got too many Dushy titles again. But it's not actually even related to this place. Um... Son, you can have a duchy. Also these. Great. Yeah, the practitioner's done. Sort of. Mostly. But this one has a lot of allies. And by a lot of allies, I mean... Not really. I could just kill them, too. Also, isn't that Hartha? Yeah, Hartha's right there. <sighs> he's got a lot of stuff. Jeez, what has he done? Oh, yeah, he's, he's completely destroyed. The Aegeonists. I'm actually losing prestige while they're replenishing their numbers. But who else can I declare war on and get some fame? Just her, I guess. It's just annoying to island hop. But... I can always just hand it out to vassals and then hope that they don't constantly rebel. Something that would be nice to reform in Huagadok culture is to actually make uh, boats. Maritime mercantilism would probably be nice. Yeah. But again, 60,000. I could change spiritual. I don't really want spiritual. But so much. It's so expensive to change stuff about culture. Yeesh. Ransom some dude? Sure, whatever.
do not like this lady existing. And I can't even sway her because she's a kid. Just need a bit more. Yep. yep. M you, my edgy 14-year-old can go hang out with you. Anyone else willing to become a vassal? No? Okay. Well, I guess it's time to just go on a... Oh, no, you got more friends. It's a big person up there. Not that they are actually strong enough to do anything, and that person's underneath me. And you're over there. See, I could just kill you two. Once my men-at-arms are good? Yeah, men-at-arms are good. I'll just remove you. Hope with any luck she won't. Ugh, yeah, but with any luck she won't be casting any crazy spells on me. My son's getting more kills. He's actually got some named kills. Well, I was just looking. He, he keeps. He does keep consistently getting killed, but um, not the psychopath guy. The psychopath kid's a fourteen-year-old still. He's converted to the proper culture. Um, sadistic, arbitrary, gluttonous. But yeah. he hasn't grown up yet. Big fame. Almost. Yeah. I mean, he works out. Listen, he's got the name The Truth Speaker. He's cool, alright? You don't get to make fun of him. No, it's not allowed. Oh yay, converted faith. Now I'll do it again somewhere else. Where else do I control that needs converting? Anywhere? Don't actually think so. He is called, he is truth speaker because he knows he commits adultery, loves stress, loves trees and plants. He is a Chad from an anime, but he's also the guy that the protagonist defeats in the end because he doesn't know the power of friendship. Oops, I mean, I don't watch anime. Ooh. No one. Whatever. Sigrun's fine. Oh, he has come of age, and he is a brilliant strategist. That needs to be 100% saved. Cannibal Mountain Man has finished control growth. He's betrothed to pretty girl.
Oat Wars can be very expensive. Holy, but I'm making a lot of money. I guess that's the benefit of... Oh no, 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 no. Don't get on the water. Don't, don't come here. Please just go and siege back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Try and siege that back. You just kill you. Wait, why isn't that enough? Oh, she does have more. God damn. Alright, alright. Yes! Yes! Critical battle right here. Oh, I have a grandson. And of course the grandson is from the edgy kid. <laughs> yeah, the intrigue path where you torture people. Oh, he's named after me. <laughs> wow. Oh, my air is one-legged. He got he got his leg cut off in that fight. That was a rough battle. Jeez. Did I lose any knights? No, I didn't actually lose any knights, but... Where is he? He killed eight dudes, but then lost his leg. No, he's not gonna die. You're wrong. What do you mean? What do you mean the war ends inconclusively? What? I spent so much money moving those troops around. Uh... And you're just gonna tell me? Guy on Cannibal Mountain has consumption. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. The good news is that I can uh, move my capital and then build, make it a metropolis. The only question is, what's more important? Do I build it in the hills here with the mine for those huge potential growth Nah, I can't. I can't fool myself. There's, it's the only the only choice is to build it on the place of the mine. Because this place is good, but it can't be upgraded, and it's it's not even remotely as strong as this mine. It's a gold mine. Oh my gosh, you will not stop, will you? So what happens now? It's been a while since I've done this decision. Oh, I have another kid. There's another one. And he's he's Hale Samuel Sam Samo. Sammy. 
It's going to be named Sammy. So what is that? What, what does all of uh, Succession do now? Other kids getting Verdant Landing. Jeez, you were merciless. <laughs> oh yeah, um... My son and can can be the marshal now because he's really good. Did nothing happen? Did nothing happen with the the city? Doesn't have a name. I don't know. I don't know what to call it yet. And also, I don't know if I'm even... They... Did the... Did the event not work properly? Because I, I clicked found a great polis. But nothing's happened. It it made the event show the event showed up that was asking me questions about building it, but I don't know if something's wrong. Like should I be Reloading and trying it again? Like, what's wrong? Does anyone know? If something's actually wrong or if it's just taking time. You won't, yeah, you, you just won't stop shitting on uh, the dude whose name I didn't even know until now. <laughs> Marvasso. He's not wounded anymore. He's one-legged, though, so he's not really going to be fighting. Yeah, I don't know if something's wrong with that decision. Hmm. I, I guess I'm gonna try yeah, reloading. Okay, so I click that decision. Gloria City. No 
immediate effects, but then it just takes my money and goes away. No, it, it isn't. It's just, it's just a normal castle. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's... So I'm going to try reloading again. And I'm going to see if I can change my county capital to the temple. Because for all I know, it's because the... It's because this specific tile has the mining settlement. So I'd need to, like, make the capital on... Gorgebis. <laughs> Alright, lady. Hand it over. County capital is now this temple. It's incredible. Wow. Wonderful. Y yeah, he, he do. He do be traveling. What on earth is up with this? Well, that's not back enough, is it? Because uh, maybe I can go back to before I move my capital. Uh, if I go back to before I moved my capital... If I go back to before I move my capital, maybe I can... Test if it, if it actually just is because of the... Maybe it, it just won't work because of the wonder after all. For some reason. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, I guess so. He's just having a chat with Erson on, like, hey, gotta fix, gotta fix time. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened to him this time. No, instead, this time he just killed 12 people.
Alright, my player error is gonna lead the Ford. He's gonna Ford. Oh, is he one eyed this time? I think my heir lost his eye in this timeline. Yeah. Hey, I think that's even better. Can this war just end, please? Why do you want him to get murdered so much? I think you're the one who likes anime here. Do I not occupy the war goal? Does that not count? Dear God! <laughs> They're back at it again! Okay. Okay, that's done. Someone else can have this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was not forgotten. <laughs> Do you know who's forgotten? Do you know who's forgotten? This shitty guy who was a conscientious scribe and like is now the the head priest for some random dude on an island. That's the forgotten character. Instead, it's now the focus of the rivalry between Marvaso, the one-eyed diplomatic warrior, and his his edgy, fat, arbitrary, sadistic bastard brother. <laughs> this is great. This is, this is why I love these this game. People talk about Crusader Kings not being fleshed out enough yet, and that Crusader Kings Two is better. But then, just like look at stuff like this. I've got this one-eyed Chancellor man who's extremely good at diplomacy, but also a good warrior. And then there's his brother, who's the torturer warrior guy, and they're both just—they both have the same hairstyle too. They're both. <laughs> But this is the more intelligent one. That's the thing. The Also, he's a military engineer. It's great. They're both awesome characters. I love this. Oh. Oh, yeah. I say The whole reason I, I did that and saved the game was because I, I wanted to test if I could build a capital here if it would work. Found the great polis. Livable city. Makes it a castle holding. It's still a castle holding. Yeah, that's true. Don't get me wrong. I want to see them kill each other as well. I just don't care which one. I just want one of them to win. I want to see the conflict. Alright, I'm going to try again. Uh, this time I'm not going to click the special option that he gets because he's a stu uh, diplomacy guy when it comes to building the city. Because there was another option that said the city's only as strong as its foundation, so... I'll see if it's just a bug with... Um... Yeah, Patriarch. Because he's a Patriarch, he gets to say livable city. Um...
Oh, my old best friend guy is dead. Great. But I need to worry about time traveling shenanigans first. I should just post in the Discord if anyone knows. Just I think I should just post there like, hey, does anyone know? It's wrong. If the found great polis is working properly, or maybe it just takes time. Yeah, he's gone through multiple timelines already. He just keeps going. Time bends to his will. I don't even think I made up the name Animathus. I think I just rolled it. I, I think I just randomly rolled the name Animathus, but the name Animathus Apfeldorf is just was just too perfect to pass up. Hey, well... Okay, people are saying... Yeah, I'm seeing it said that it takes time. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. Lovable City is a wondrous city. Then I'll found the Holy Order. That is not the right one. No, no, you don't have a star. I, I can't let that stand. As much as I don't really care, I just can't have it. Can't have it be that. Can be a flower. That's actually kind of nice. Make it bigger. Big sliders. Big. Oh. I have no idea what to call this. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, this is this is the one-eyed air timeline. Where that war actually succeeded instead of getting invalidated. So I moved my capital to the mine and try and I'm trying to build the polis there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it. Like if it's bugged, then it's bugged, but if it works and it just takes time, then well it'll take time and eventually I'll get it. Uh It's a it's a gilded it's a gilded rose because it's not it's on a green background but yeah and then yeah those guys are gonna be hanging out I'm not sure what they're gonna get up to but jeez lots of people I can just ransom just go go away. I would like to not be tribal now, actually. Call to war, okay, fine. How do I not be tribal? I need absolute tribal authority, and I still need some more civics. Don't know if I'm going to live long enough for that. 
can build history department. <laughs> yeah, I'll need... Yeah, I've got absolute tribal authority. Good. See, I'm tribal, but like everyone underneath me. Is he? I don't know. I don't know what's better about him. Doesn't wait, didn't he have a kid and he named him Anamathus? Yeah, he did. My I, actual heir hasn't had any kids yet. Oh, but Amazonian strong lady's pregnant. Jeez, she is a Wow. Yeah, you could tell she's Sigrid's daughter. Whew. Yo, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for this guy, yo. That guy happened to disappear. If, if if this guy happened to disappear, then uh, my heir's wife would inherit Sigrun's lands. Isn't that isn't that funny? Or I don't remember how they work. Um, she might actually just take the throne anyway because she's a Chad. So I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> He might. That's the thing. See, um, I gave I gave you the option. I told you like either make him sadistic or ambitious, and you you said he should be sadistic. Um, but if he was ambitious, I would one hundred percent believe he would do that. I would have no no doubt. What are the Empire titles here? Bjar. Need a lot of titles for that. Well, what else can I do? Is uh once I'm not few when I'm not tribal anymore, I can start upgrading that mine. And I'll also have a metropolis to upgrade, so that'll be cool. Um I may still have a truce with this dude. He's pretending cosplaying as Garasus. Because he's still weak. Yeah, he's still weak from the Civil War. Ah... <sighs> Oh, this guy's a legitimized bastard, too. Isn't that interesting? I could do it. I could just kill him. <laughs> it's just, it's so tempting. I'm 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 gonna try and murder him. He's an honest man, but it's yeah. I really want him to do it. And I don't, oh, oh my gosh, the bastard! He he does he does the thing. He keeps having kids. Karusha, my first actual daughter. Uh, for you, you're a vassal of mine. We can become friends. Um, but more importantly, I need to invade kingdom. That's true. I have invade kingdom as an option now. And when else am I going to get the opportunity to use that? He will, he's definitely succeeding at breeding. I won't, you know, I, I won't argue with that. Cost all of the prestige, but Anamathus has the opportunity to reach great glory with this. 
Maybe I should just wait for uh, some more levies, though. Oh. Yeah. Deathothica, because it's the default name they give you. Um, I'm I might rename it. On on succession, there's a good chance I'll rena I'll rename it to something else. But I'm not worried about that so much right now. Alright, you're really asking for it, so you know what? I'm gonna make both of my kids forced to fight. I mean, he's wounded. Who is this pale ass man? It's just some random albino vassal. Anathuria. Yeah. Also, the Ni Irimatos. Ugh, cringe. Still cringe as always. Ugh. I hate that it's fent that the, the city of Izupoli is. Ugh. Okay. Yep. Where is my muster point? Is it on this island? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the bastard. The bastard is gonna lead the armies. He's leading the main battalion, because he's a siege expert. My air better have some good health insurance. Intrigue scheme... Oh. Secret multi-language code, okay. I forgot I was doing that. <laughs> I completely forgot I was being an asshole. Send the catapults over there. No, I'm not I'm not paying money to make him sick. I'm losing agents. Is there anyone... Uh, get the Chancellor involved. I don't really care that much. Ah. How much is it? 125... Um, Steward? Yep, Steward can learn some lessons. Target is talking to Agent. Okay, that's good. Actually don't care that much about converting culture on that island. Literally only have one agent now. Jeez. Oh my gosh. No. There's... Uh, the fog is extremely undeveloped at the moment. There's no way to um, take back land from it or stop it. So uh, that's the reason it's turned off by default. Uh... I always play with it off. And I would suggest that anyone 
uh, who doesn't want uh, to die inevitably from fog uh, to not play with it either. The guy I'm trying to murder is now in prison? Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. Who? Yep. Please, stop running away! Fine. I, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> ah! 50% chance! No! Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry, Seagrin. Um... I definitely was not trying to murder your kid. Don't- don't worry about it. I don't know if I can handle that battle. Best if I fall back to a defensive position with that army. They can sit in the mountains here. If they try and attack my main army in the capital, in their capital, then I will switch around. Yeah, he's not... Okay, actually, that's a good question. Where is he? Which army is he in? He's in the army that's going after the capital. <laughs> um, oh, the Holy Order. Um, which city? No, could you please point out to me? Oh, oh, it's here. Oh, that's actually a really good... Dachi, jeez. That island's really nice, but... <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, you can have that. The Holy Order can expand. Why does... <laughs> yeah, I have the decision to... to... Uh, yes, this guy does have a wacky skull mask. The dude I'm fighting. Uh, his dad... His dad is named Garassos the Skull Taker. And, uh... He took a lot of skulls, so it was kind of his thing. He was a lunatic, giant, ugly... Very angry man, so... You quoting me? Making fun of me, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was nice. What about it? So what if I thought the island was nice? I'm not living on that island. One of my vassals has it. Some some random dude that um wait, I thought didn't aren't you the guy that Like, has the special right to not be asked to convert or something? Oh, I guess... I guess you do. Anyway. Injured vassal wounded, but it's not the one you want. Yeah. 
I just thought that particular guy on the island was the dude that I um, had given special rights, but I I don't I, maybe I didn't do that. You? When you die. The land will be given to this dude on the island here. Well, I don't like that very much. Hmm. Also, there's a faction. Really? I didn't know I had this many adversarian vassals. I guess I just picked them all up from the islands. Well, that's less than great. Uh, can you show the grass in faith? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to see it. Um, here it is. Uh, they've got this unique tra trait. Way of the Skull Taker. No one else has it. And their whole deal is they just they just kill people. They just absolutely murder everyone. They convert uh, religion faster in places of their own culture, and they promote culture and faster in places of their religion. And they just can attack people. If someone's next to them, they can attack them. Just always. It's great. I, I'm, um, my next game I'm probably gonna play them, so. Uh, they also have the blood right, which is pretty standard for adversarians. But, um, they also have the human sacrifice. <laughs> which is very fun as them, because they just attack people everywhere all the time, and then get piety for killing them. That's that. Or, well, I'll scroll down through here as well if you, like you said, you wanted to pause and take a look. Um, encourage slavery because fun. <laughs> uh, temporal priests. Uh, temples are owned by non priest people. Um, and uh, magic supremacy. So people with uh, magic traits are considered superior. Oh, oh, uh, Holy Wars are cheaper. And, um... They have, hate people slightly less that are also from their religion. Good day or good night to everyone. Alright, you're heading out? Well, thank you, thank you, uh, for stopping by. You made things a lot more interesting, Anderson. So... I... Uh, Hopefully, I look forward to hopefully seeing you again here some other time. Jeez, these people are gonna... Oh no, I had a bunch of them in prison, didn't I? Yeah, I probably had a bunch of them in prison and then let them go. Can I get... Dread from executing people? No, that's not giving me any dread. Hmm... And if I torture them, I, I think I'd get it, but no, still not. Whatever. I seized the Antilek house banner. Jeez. Oh, that's, that's rough. Um, Glory? No, I think I also need the House of Warriors now. How soon are they going to rise up? There's one member. Just around them. Okay. I do not know what to do about this. Ah, because I'll have to jump on the water.
to get them. I just I just hate spending money to sail over them. Yay, I'm friends with Sigrid now, even though I tried to murder her kid. <laughs> Okay. I've got some really good commanders. Both of my sons are very, very fun characters, though. One-eyed has made him a little less capable of actually fighting. Wait. There. Oh, they're sneaking around the coast, are they? Um. Do I care, though? What is that? What is that culture? I don't know Mezadun... Mezadunic. Yo! Oh, I thought the Huberites were doing something. But it's just, it's just him over here. He's a peasant leader. Okay. What was the, um... Donor went. There was a hybrid culture, which is interesting. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can't repress the good adversarians any longer. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be very rough, but... I completely forgot that I've got allies, and I can just ask the allies to come. Well, you're you're very welcome. I I enjoy this mod, uh, which is why I choose to spend my time playing it on stream a lot of the time. So why not talk about it? If I didn't want to talk about it, I wouldn't exactly be showing it off like this and just talking at my screen. <laughs> granddaughter. Jeez, this guy has so many kids. My my bastard son has so many kids. But my actual heir has just a single daughter. Though she is Amazonian, so it's, it's good. It's good. I'll offer to teach her. Think of you my child? Nope. Nope. Cannot be allowing that. Sieging my capital is completely and utterly banned. Very, very big no-no. Not, not okay. Less than good. With this, I should win the war, actually. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Just after Anderson leaves the chat, his his boy, the guy he so desperately wanted to kill my heir, <laughs> and he's dead instead. Oh my gosh! When he finds out, he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Oh, Ervalinch. Ervalinch is dead. <laughs> he had so many kids, too. He's got an intelligent, calmly. I should I should teach this one, too, actually. And I'll teach him. Um, what will I teach him? Money. He's, he's going to be a good management dude. Um... He had a, just a bright girl and a normal one. Okay, they get progressively less interesting as it goes on. Uh, also, pretend that my first son doesn't exist. Uh, Iliomaris, um, he became a monk uh, with his just awful stats and, and just ran off to be the priest of some island person. <laughs> More importantly, my Chad athletic quick one-eyed warrior son is brave and compassionate 
he's married to a uh, an Amazonian girl who is the the daughter of a uh, Seagrin axe in the hand and together they've had a, a single daughter who is also Amazonian so I think we're equal succession yeah so that that kid is gonna be my uh, my heir in a while anyway Wow Hey, what was the thing that he had said? Anderson had given me a good suggestion for a, a kingdom. It's a name. Oh yeah, I've still got rebels. That's <laughs> completely forgot I've got rebels to deal with. Um Yeah, okay, the one Well that's had interesting effects on succession. Was it Anathuria? Anathuria was his suggestion. I like that a lot, actually. Anathuria is a great name for it because originally Dothothica was the name. That's supposed to be uh, named after some great conqueror. What is the goal? Uh, well, the goal was originally I started up here uh, as a vassal of Senware. I don't know. You know, for those who don't know how that system works, uh, there is there starts off this great, this great big conqueror man named Senware who goes through this whole region with his massive empire and just murders everyone in the way. And as he goes, he plants. Uh, his his vassals and new people of his culture around the place to migrate their their people um and i was one of those uh so i migrated uh all the way down here from farther north and my goal uh was really just to see how the system works uh because i never played it before i never played with the migrating system so i just wanted to uh, migrate down here and uh, test out the new all the fun mechanics because uh, there is a system as well for changing uh, your holy sites uh, for a couple of those people the apti the apti faith is uh, one that gets to depending on where you migrate to change their holy sites uh, however there's some coding there's some coding issues at the moment uh, that are that are making it impossible for me to do that um so I can't test out all the all the the moving holy sites, because right now they're all up north, but I wanted them to be down here. So I'm still actually in the first life, and I don't actually know any like super long term goals, because as I said, I just wanted to move down here and see how the system works. Now, if anyone has suggestions for goals, then I would be interested in hearing that or if people would really like if, if people want to watch me do stuff then i am i'm very much open to suggestions yeah yeah that's right the uh the shivolki empiric is what it's called and they ran away from the fog and conquered the warlord states of adversaria they were already falling apart so they just strolled in, and uh, a common misconception is that they come in and murder all of them, but they don't actually, which is pretty evident by the fact that there's still pockets of adversarian culture. It's it's a very important thing to note, I think. Um, Senware was actually a very upstanding individual, uh, and he was just doing the what the best he could for his people was which is to escape the fog and come here and find a new home for them. So they don't actually kill anyone that doesn't fight. In fact, if you're playing an adversarian person here and he attacks you, you straight up get a decision to just bend the knee and become one of his vassals because he won't kill you if you agree to let his people join. Uh, the, the only reason that the uh, culture and religion changes as his people move in is actually just because there's so many of them. Because the adversarians are all super depleted. Um, there should still be modifiers here somewhere. Um, no, it's gone. It's gone now. It's been long enough. But there's modifiers all over adversaria. 
um, that are penalties because of all the fighting they've been doing. They're super depopulated. Uh, what about Malkoi? Oh, the Lerosi are actually doing pretty good. Um, he, he didn't get that far, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, oh I, I'm pretty sure there's no modifiers in, Le, in uh, Malkoi. For uh, depopulation. I'm pretty sure the modifier penalties are just, like, around here. Anyway, I've got to hand out some titles. <sighs> okay. Just... Give them to some people. Here we go. I don't really care who. Just someone take these. None of my kids are even set to inherit that, so I, I just don't. Yep, just random people can manage that. And they'll convert that land. So. Uh, yeah, how I jumped over there, because the Empiric um, conquered all the way down to this coastline here. They attempted to conquer this island that I own now, but they didn't They didn't manage it. The, the people here all united and just bashed their heads in. Uh, so the Empiric was stopped, and then Senware, the guy in charge, just up and died. So uh, all of the realm just shatters, and all of the, the various clans went independent. Um, so, but, um, as Senware conquers along, you get events that let you, uh, earn contribution in his conquest, and you can choose to either spend that contribution when he conquers a new area to migrate to that new place and leave your own old lands behind. Idea being that if you keep contributing uh, and doing well, he'll give you and your, your people land that's farther south away from the fog. So you keep fighting and keep pushing and he'll give you land that's safer and farther away. Now, I'm not playing with the fog on, so that's not actually relevant, but it's still, it's the lore, you know. That's how that technically works. Uh, so I, very conveniently, decided to drop off at this castle here. Erezithos. Uh, and then I just conquered my way out after the Empiric fell. And moved my capital to this place here because it's got some mines... And I'm trying to build a, a great city here as well. A great polis. But I don't know if the event's working properly. We'll just have to see. I'm going to have to see what, what the, um, the rebels actually do. Then I'll move my troops accordingly. Get in there faster. Darn it. Okay, I've still got the... What? This lady likes me? Am I just that good? Oh, I'm just really famous and I'm good with people, so she likes me. This Legan, leader of an Imperial Legion remnant. She thinks I'm cool, so... I, I want the prestige, though. I, I can always use more of it, so I'm, I'm not going to actually talk with her. I just need to murder all these adversarians and take all their land. Now that they've rebelled, I've got no remorse for them. I was willing to let them bend the knee before, but not now.
I actually have a problem with trying to commit to games, like to, to campaigns in games like this when I try to play. I always end up quitting before I actually accomplish the goals that I want to. So that's why it's a, it's a bit of a struggle for me to actually pick something that I want to accomplish. Oh, all the Garrasin people want independent. Ah, uh, fine. Fine, I'll fight them too. I'll kill them all. It'll be great. Wonderful. No, I don't I don't care about learning your languages. Uh yeah, my best friend died. I, I had this guy. I was friends with this guy. All the way back up north. He he was my um that guy who just died of old age was uh he's been my vassal for a very long time. Uh the Apti Faith is not super strong or like Honestly, I don't think it's that great, <laughs> but there are a couple things I really like about it. Uh, one, I I'm really a big fan of esotericism, because a wise man uh, gives you lots of opportunities to get wise man, which is a virtuous trait for them. So it just gives you a lot of opportunities to earn more faith. Um, and monasticism is a tenet that allows you to make your heirs, you know, try and convince your heirs to become... Um, monks. Uh, there's no special features for this religion other than the whole changing holy sites. Not that it's working properly at the moment. Um, the various adversarian faiths, there's tons of them. There's so many different faiths in the adversarian, adversarianus agiocrata, or however you say that. That's how I say it. Uh, I think these are some of the best for sure because they get bonuses to magic. You earn more magic. Uh, magic is a virtue. Um, pursuit of power, which just lets you attack people. You can just attack people for land and it's cheaper to make titles. And they just all get more prowess. So I, I think this is one of the best religions. Um, the different uh, Shivalki faiths, I don't know all that much about. I think they're just fine. They, they might be better than mine. But I don't have too much to say about them. Because I've never actually played as a normal adversarian. Now these guys, interestingly enough, the Karadunars, are actually a subsect of my religion. They're a branch off. They're a, um, we consider them righteous. We, we get along with them. Uh, but they're actually like really weird. They're considered really weird because this whole faith is about some sort of dreaming god controlling all existence. And the Karadunars are really strange because they believe the fog is good. The the, the dreaded fog is simply the oncoming oncoming end of the dream. Because the the dreamer is gonna wake up. The dreaming god is gonna wake up and then reality's gonna end. That's what they think. So people think they're very weird because they kind of embrace the end of existence. <laughs> Which, needless to say, is a little odd. It makes people kind of uncomfortable. I really need to um, get more innovations, but it's going to take a while for that to happen. Because once I get some more innovations my culture I'll be able to finally become a feudal country and start upgrading my stuff more I'm not oh, keeping you in prison if you oh wait you're not my vassal um you can just stay in prison until you have enough money to pay me and uh, I'll call Sigrid into this war too.
Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd actually say that they probably are one of the happiest groups of people. I mean, they they literally are just like, well, the world's ending. That's that's the way it is. So you can't even call them doomers. You might be like, oh yeah, that's the most doomer religion. They embrace the end of existence, but they're not edgy. <laughs> they're not edgy, they're just like, yep, that's how it is. I didn't even notice this. I, c I can make a bloodline. I don't... I don't know what caused me, what's caused me to be able to do that, but I, I can make a bloodline for Animathus. Magically weakened. Oh my gosh, stop shooting magic at me, you stupid people. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I hate that popping up. I can't rename it. It just says Blood of the Statesman. It's always going to be called that, but it will show who founded it, which is cool. And it inherits by all my people. Cool. So... Yeah, that's really cool. I like bloodlines as a mechanic. Um, well, time to go kill some more adversarians. Oh boy. Okay, so I got a lot of people in prison now, and I really want to just get rid of their titles now before they like escape from prison or something. Just revoke. Revoke, I do not want any more any more random adversarian practitioners on these islands revolting. It's so annoying to have to go and deal with them. You're gonna set up some nice, loyal people who are gonna rule the place and not rebel. People they're welcome to hybridize our cultures with them, but Oh, you didn't actually revolt. That's cool. Yeah, I guess I guess there are still going to be some then. Just not many. What are my kids getting? What's that? Oh, temple. Um, I could just give more land to my heir, I guess. Yeah, I keep getting renown for giving land to my my family members as well. Um, you see up there? Dynasty Apfeldorf gets 50 renown because um, the culture has mystical ancestors. So I just gave a bunch of land to my player heir and um, more renown, so... Make six to seven. You're always getting cucked. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't worry about that as much as you do then. <laughs> I actually only had two, had three kids originally, but then I remarried this lady. When my old and and so I've had a second like another son. Who do I even need to attack here? Well, I can siege that. Whoops. Eh. person I gave it to just died, I guess. Well, someone else take it. I don't know. Um, and raise them up, raise soldiers up here.
What? No. I don't want. <laughs> I do not want that. I do not want the Winter Legion showing up. They're way too cool. No! Okay. Yep, the Golden Knight. I don't know why she's called that, but it's really cool. And it's not even the starting character. This is just some randomly generated character that showed up and took over and calls herself that. What? What's wrong, Spymaster Man? Uh, I'll take the dread. I'll, I'll just I imprison someone for no reason. I don't care about either of these people. But I guess I, my stewardship, my, my uh, diplomacy is so incredible that I could just make them all become my friend anyway. Yeah, they're just going to immediately turn around. You think you're so smart, huh? Oh, no. The Winter Legion's here, and they're very strong. It's a good thing I've been saving up money. What? Armored Footman. Could use some mages. What's the terrain here? Forest? Mages aren't especially strong in forest, they're just normal. Yeah, I'm gonna hire some mages. Well, that's an interesting point, making the game over for that reason, but... Oh my gosh, they're crushing me still. I've got the money, I need to just... I need to win this. I need to crush them now. Oh my god. Oh, I think the game just crashed. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. Uh... Hmm. I don't know if I should start it up again now. Um, no, I need to resolve that war. I'm going to start it up again. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll restart it, even though it crashed. Uh, normally I'd say that's the perfect time to stop, but, um... I guess that's what ha what I get for playing on speed 5 on mod. Yeah, you could say it's a convenient crash, but if I wanted to reload, I would just say it. I don't care what people think. And I wouldn't I wouldn't just crash the game either cuz I'm not playing in Iron Man mode. If I wanted to just reload it, I would just press reload. <laughs> I'm curious where it'll put me, though. It is It is true.
Well, where is it? No, oh, I was raising my army. Well then, where is Seagrin? She's moving her army into the ocean now, okay. Hmm, maybe I'll just attack, I'll attack their army outside the city. I mean, the Winter Legion isn't, isn't here yet, so they don't have that extremely good commander that caused it all to go wrong. Not yet, at least. On oh, this, yeah. And I actually put my better commander on, so. Hey, I mean, it, it has kind of been the theme of Animathus that he he's uh, been time traveling through different timelines because I was trying to figure out how the um, found a great Paulus works, and. I haven't seen any indication that it's functioning properly, so I might just... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do about that. If it doesn't work and the Great Polis doesn't get built, then I'm, I'm going to be quite annoyed, but I'll deal with it. Control war target. Just themselves, I guess. So, yeah, it still has this... The, the fact that the, the found a great Paulus decision is still there it makes me really think that it's just not functioning properly. Which is very annoying. Oh my gosh, Garassos is so... Or, well, his kid. Garassos' kid is so... Weak. He he's lost all, all of his titles, so he actually is using the bloody throne title properly. <laughs> Who are you now? Just grass and peasant rebels. Interesting. You know what that means, Sigrun. Sigrun, help. Oh, she's getting beat. Why does she have her army so separated, I wonder? Okay, time to just beat up these peasant rebels. Get that resolved. <sighs> yeah, I don't yeah, I don't care. We already got really good fervor. Something happened to my steward. It's fine. Captured random Garrasson mage. Wait, where are the other rebels? Oh, they're over here. Wonderful. Sons! Oh my gosh, I have two more kids. Oh my gosh. So some kid's gonna get Tanada. Interesting, interesting. It's weird that I've got Confederate partition, but it still gives so much of my land to the one dude. No, stop! It's both the Garassans and the normal. And the, the normal adversarians. Okay, after I beat those guys. Yeah, stop! Stop bringing random people to my court and accusing them of shit. Stop! Alright, alright. Is he even decent? He's actually got good marshal, so... Even though he was a grass, and I'll, I'll let him repent. He's, he's good at what he does. The 
Defensive negotiations. Who likes me? Does anyone out there like me that would just... Oh, this is a republic. Lots of people like me. They might actually just ally with me because... Yo, what happened to... Yo, they got taken over. The Fenver, the Fenver culture essentially got deleted because they decided to be super cringe and adversarianize themselves. Um, so now the Fenver Clanric place is uh, taken over by Caymancy. I don't know how, because there are none even here. But, no. I could become friends with him. Maybe he'd ally me. Or the lady that's chilling up there. Would you... Can offer alliance now, right? Because I'm at war, fair enough. She won't accept either. Huh. Okay. Um... Oh, jeez. The Winter Legion snuck around the side. Don't want them hanging out in my capital. I've got some good levies now, jeez. No, no. No, you don't get to just run away. Dear God. Everyone is rebelling. It's the flavor of the month, I guess. It's rebellion. Okay. So... How long until you siege that? Four months? Alright, alright. They siege it in four months. My soldiers will regroup in th three. Oh, but they're moving off of that island. Oh, and I, I beat beat the Independence War guys. Excellent. Nope. Why do you have title revocation protection? Stop. Yeah, I'll 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 take the tyranny. You're not having title revocation. <laughs> Being protected, you. Absolute mongoloid. Who gave you... I, I don't know who gave you that right, but it wasn't me, so I don't care. You get Tanada, right? Yeah, you get Tanada. So, you can have these islands already. Um, Who else is in prison that needs to have all of their stuff taken? She can just sit in prison forever now. I'm very spiteful. Anim Animathus is an extremely spiteful man. He he will not accept any of this. But well, you're in prison too. You're just you're just a, a mayor. What are you even the mayor of? Why are you in prison? Oh, oh, because he came down here <laughs> to fight me. Uh, okay, he can just go. I don't care about them. I think that's all the important people. No. Oh, but yeah, you're you're the guy that's under Garassos. And he can give me some money. Go. Um you guys can just give given to someone else. Who are you and why do you get stuff? What do you get? That? I don't think so. I think this is what you're getting, kid. Why why is it gone down from 6? I used to be able to hold six. My stewardship gone down. Jeez, you have nothing. Oh, 
she is completely and utterly incapable of doing stewardship stuff. So, I guess I'm handing off this church. Which is fine. Um, yeah, there's still two rebellions I'm fighting. Jeez, I forget. Too busy handing out the titles of all the people that I take stuff from. Yeah, that's... You can stop gathering right now. Just go and beat their ass. And then just slink. Slink back into the ether. No, 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 don't. Don't rise. Sorry. Who else now? Uh, just, just this group. But where are they going? Jeez, the, the Holy Order is getting pretty big. Can I hire them? Yeah, I could just hire this Holy Order for no cost because I'm fighting rebels that are not my faith and such. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And they have mages. Real? Oh my gosh, the Holy Order is an order of mages and observants. Hey, that's, that's pretty cool, honestly. And that is that. Ooh. You don't you don't have anything for me, so you just like convert and join my army. Oh also the it's a blood moon, which is funny. You know, if I felt like it, I could start con start colonizing the Red Wastes, I think. No? Oh. I thought you could colonize that. Why isn't it giving me the option? Is it because... Can I not colonize this because I'm not close enough somehow? But I... Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Jeez, I've got so much money. I really wish I was feudal. I need so much innovation. I don't know how much longer this guy's gonna live, but I think that... I I'm just gonna go and uh, take the development growth increase one and uh, try and research faster. Uh, who else can I just attack to try and further unite this region under Anathuria? I could go and munch on the... Oh, I could do a kingdom level holy war still. I did an invasion, but I can still do a kingdom level one as well. Once per lifetime. So... Jeez, it lags a bunch when I click save. I need to clean out that save folder. Anyway. Uh, well, this is the bigger kingdom title, so that's the one I'll declare war for. Oh no, other Shavolki Agiocrata rulers can join. Too bad she's literally the only one in the world. This might be a grind fest. Um... This, this could, yeah, uh, th this could in fact take a long time to grind my way through. Because that's a lot of holdings I need to get to make my way through. Grandson is, um...
doing well in his studies, okay. This is the one I'll actually be playing as, though. Oh, where's she going? She just... She's really just gonna go and sit on my capital. Fine. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, yes, and a uh, new learning lifestyle. I I'd been building up learning lifestyle stuff already because I was... Uh, holding mystical communions. So, that's cool. I can commission another epic. Like, that's that's just fine. That's just fine. Uh, another super good family epic to make people remember the house the name of House Apfeldorf, which I really should rename the city. Uh, while it's under siege. There we go. County of Apfeldorf and uh, the city too. I may change the coat of arms as well. Could just make it my cat, my um, my main symbol again. Um. Yeah, I just want renown because my dude's not going to be around forever. Who are you? Just Adra Comp guy. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, once I'm once I'm done this war, I will be stopping for the day. Inconvenience. Oh. The expensive person can't do it, but just... So so I'm just going to settle for the discount people? Fine, I guess, but... I don't like it. Oh, oh they're coming to engage me. Who? Yeah, I don't care about your own forebears. Because you, you don't... Ex you don't... What do you mean... You, you don't like how it treats your forebears. You have no parents. You just spawned out of the ether. Yeah, become my rival. I do not care. I just love that this this holy order is, is full of mages and the observants, which are special warrior monks of the religion. Jeez, that noise. Uh... If, if anyone's ever bothered by the uh, the, vol the audio balancing, um, the, please please let me know. Because I don't I don't want it to annoy anyone either. Faith. Oh. Yeah, yep. I don't, I don't, it's not. Yes, the family epic. This is the, uh, like, fourth family epic this single dude has made. He, he just really likes writing stuff about his family history. Oh, and this time it actually gave him a book. That's funny. never actually given him a book before. Um, just leave some people to hold the siege there. Why'd they have to leave the catapults? Eh, whatever. That'll, that'll be fine. It'll, it'll siege over soon. What? Really? I can diverge from my culture now? I've never seen this. I've never seen this event. Uh, yeah, after I am finished, this war, I'll, I'll look at this. But once I'm finished the war, I will I'll be stopping. Um, a divergent culture will appear in that 
that share most traditions and cultural pillars as the Huguenot culture, but with a new ethos and some traditions replace. But I want... What, can I cha choose what it is? Because I, I kind of like my culture. <coughs> so I, I'd like to be able to choose what it actually does, but... Uh, well, I guess it's a good thing I save first, then. Really? Practiced pirates. Practiced pirates and seafarers, egalitarian, for cultural acceptance gain. The Anathuria culture. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's very interesting. I'm not sure if I like the practiced pirates, but... Hmm... That's so interesting. This is such an interesting collection of um, traits here. Also, martial men only. I didn't know that. And it speaks Rekavolki. Doesn't the normally... Doesn't the normal Huagadok culture speak its own language? Really? So we've abandoned our own language? So, okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'll just finish Banus off then work on plenary assemblies and ledger um i'm not sure exactly what how many i need because i need 70 percent to become feudal but i'm not sure how many that'll actually be um are my vassals all anathuria now cool um Yeah, I could convert the culture too, but I don't mind it being more isolated. It makes it have a higher base development, you know? Anyway, get back to the war. I'm sure they'll convert the culture and religion of their places anyway, so I don't need to worry too much about what my people are doing. <laughs> it keeps telling me, my son is about to leave my court. I didn't know he came back. <laughs> what? <gasps> uh, only, me and my family and court. Me, my family, and court all stand awake in the wee hours of the night, huddled near our windows, outside, a sight to truly behold a fragment of Ervalar. Ervalar of epic proportions is making way towards the ground, ready to make contact at any moment. Thankfully, it is far enough away as to not present any danger at all. At least to us. Beautiful, but deadly. So, just watch a gigantic piece of the moon fall. And land here, huh? Okay. It just completely destroys this place. Okay. Whew. Oh. Arthur's realm is kind of splintered. Notable guest? I don't know what's notable. Oh, yeah, I see what's notable about you. Yeah. Hmm. 
No, I don't need... I don't need glasses. My grandson honest? Yes. I won't let him end up like his father. His father was an awful man. He deserved what happened to him. Uh, there's two... two things I'll need to siege there, so I'll just... split up the army. And make... increase development better. Look at his development, 15. Yeah. The right wars. Ooh, Senware weeps. The Holy Kingdom of Velos has... Okay, it's formed up there. I didn't... Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, well, the Shivoki faith is fragmenting and fighting itself. What... Jeez, I've got no supplies. My men are just dropping like flies here. Just take the siege. Just take the siege. Get, Let us get out of here. Okay. There. Took a flower. It took an orchid flower from this dude. What? Oh, it's a pressed flower. Okay. It's pressed to preserve its beauty. Woo wee! And with that, Anathuria has done pretty good, I must say. But yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me colonize this stuff. Is it because I'm not feudal? That's probably why. A lot of stuff is like that. Um, I'll finish off, off those kingdoms another time. But for now, I have gone on... Uh, well, actually, no. Not 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 longer than I intended. That's This is about as long as I planned, if I'm being honest. So... Oh. He hasn't been developing the capital. I want him to get diligent planning going. Just as fast as you can, develop the capital. Okay. And with that, I will save the game. And, uh, say uh, goodbye to all who have watched for now and I look forward to the next stream see any of you who wish then as well